let's go crazy, 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 crazy till we see the sun. <laughs> Is that One Direction? Uh, yes. And then by the way, yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, it's Eros from Star from the Eternals, played by Harry Styles, Eros, brother of Thanos. Two overclock workshop. Um, we're back, and for you it's back been a week. Same day. For us, for you it's, it's been, been a week. like an hour and a half. Um, so I don't know. It just it just might make this episode feel a bit different, but uh, it's got a different vibe. <laughs> Yeah, the vibe is we already recorded a video, and you know how the longer the, the videos get, the more like, we kind of decay. Uh, it's the vibe of like a fatigued donkey trying to carry its master, its obese master across the desert. I am the obese master. Harry is the desert, and you're no. our donkey. Uh, what? No, <laughs> no. They're the obese master. You're that's, the donkey. That's somehow worse. <laughs> you You're the donkey. Worse. I'm the sludge pump. So yeah, well, already it's different because we're sort of forgetting to actually, int- like, do this as a real video. <laughs> it's it's the overclock workshop. Um, they were talking about the slug punk. Um, <laughs> the uh, punk rotten. We each provide an overclock of each category, and we present them to the group, and. <laughs> The, the the focus group the commune and the, the commune yeah. the kibbutz what's the thing where the Jews live I don't I, you don't have to say that Harry no it's not it's not those it's not I'm referring to now present day the houses Harry they live in the same places no, as everyone else no specific yeah but not yeah here they do <laughs> pardon me <laughs> fuck um what well, I said we each like present them, and I, I mean that because I've realised I want to actually make a further adjustment to the reason why it is impossible to be stupid <laughs> in this series, and that's because we're just presenting ideas. You don't even have to have an opinion on your own idea. Um, you will form it as the video goes along. Although I have opinions of mine, and I'm not happy with these this time. I'm actually quite ashamed. That's a good start. Not uh, of my balanced one, though. And I'm really ashamed of the unstable one, and I'll explain why when we get to it. But anyway, um, I think you're probably familiar with the format by now. Um, yeah. So let's uh, just begin. With Harry. With my clean, clean. overclock. Go, Harry. Oh, what? Go. See, I can't see what's going on. It's, tre- it's called trench foot. Yep. It's, got a shoe in the, it's got a shoe in the thing. It does. So I, I like the idea of um, sludge puzzles sort of having some kind of utility, some kind of exterior function, perhaps one to do with your movement. Now, um, I'm already going to slice off one half of this. So if you can actually bring the information up, please. Ta-da. So we've got move faster in sludge puddles and take less full damage when landing on sludge. All of this needs adjustment. I'm not <laughs> happy with um, most of this. First, like I think the, the full damage, you sort of put it in my head when we recorded the cryo can one but i realize now that this is really quite strong especially with um you would use more ammo to break your fault i guess than you would with what i had for the cryo cannon but you know all you need to do is take that um high velocity mod and you can break like pretty much any fall just if you, you don't need to react that quickly um i don't know if there's a place for that it's just like a small amount of utility maybe it's like a much smaller full damage reduction but in general, I'd be happy to cut it off because um, the main point of this, and I like the description actually, I mean, the overclock is actually for your shoes, it's moving faster on the size of puddles. But already, it's like, you know, by default, you don't actually cover a massive amount of ground with the puddles. Um, yeah. And they're quite small. Unless you spec into it, which you can. You can use dispersal compound to get more and the mod to make them wider. So... Well, I think the only way to make this work is to actually have it be a very... Subs- if I want to make it work, uh, is to, for it to be a very big movement speed bonus. That you get like, these bursts of speed when you go through puddles. Because uh... by default, they're not big. And whether that's even a valuable thing is up in the air. Um, well, I, I, I feel like... stuff was a good idea when I made it. 
I but feel like you've done a classic Harry move where you've gone for, oh, I need to do 200% more instead of the simple next step, where it's a lingering effect. If you step on the sludge for the next, let's say, five seconds, you have a slight movement speed bonus. That is much better. <laughs> that is actually kind of a good idea. Um, but I do like specifically the idea. I mean, the description is a joke, but it's also leans into what I maybe want out more than what's currently on the screen. It's something that you're more adapted in terms of movement to the puddles, or just you're more adapted to them, to the sludge. So almost like, because the sludge pump, you can damage yourself with it. I was thinking about maybe that isn't a thing this time with this, where you can't hurt yourself, because that's like, um, people complain about the sludge pump not having its version of heat or cold gradients, and I'll say, well, it's the charge shot. But the charge shot, or even the normal shots, damage you if you, like, shoot at the floor. And you can easily damage yourself with the charge shots. So, I don't know if maybe adding that on would be uh, too strong. Now, I don't think that would, I don't think that over, I don't think that would be competitive to many other overclocks. I don't want to really. pull a U, but I, I'm not, I don't think that would really change much, really. No, um, so is it, well, but I... Then I'd add it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose. But I think it is so little. Yeah, I like that... your idea, though. Yeah. But I think it could do with something else. And I think this might be a bit wild. But you also... Not only will you get a slight movement buff, you'll get a... And this won't linger, but you'll get a jumping buff. Yeah. I'm thinking, like, if... So, like, if you're... If oh, you... bouncy sludge, almost. Yeah. But, like, it's it's not that much. It's maybe, like, a, a double No, I jump. think I like the idea that it's just a lingering effect on your person and you move and jump more for a few seconds you yeah. can balance it out to work like i don't you know I, I like the idea of just it's just enough where you can like very easily like jump over a praetorian or something oh well, yeah but not much more than that like a slightly annoyingly high like platform that you'd have to like break the top of it. yeah you can now just kind of leap up on um but i don't know i think it's interesting uh, in, at least conceptually, the, the sludge pump, which this whole thing is slowing down and killing the uh, enemies, would basically just buff you in movement, movement-wise, which I think is pretty cool. Um, so I think they're, at minimum, move faster, lingering. Touch yeah, because I like the idea of it, your shoes like picking up the sludge, basically. Yeah. That's the idea. And somehow that makes you move faster. <laughs> doesn't make a lot of sense. Better move faster, jump higher. But uh, I don't know. No, I like I like trench foot. Yeah, I think it works. I I, I don't know. I think it could Depends. be in a varying Depends. forms due to how many different ways of getting around there are. Um, yeah, you know, full damage, uh, speed, jump. But point is, uh, yeah, I like it. It's quite nice. Yeah, I like it too because it's like I think it would be competitive as well because I don't think the size pumps and stables are all that great. I mainly think it's strength, lion, it's balanced, and that one clean. And they're all quite strength focused, but I think this would at least compete with. And plus, the sludge like the pump, other utility stuff. I think the sludge pump is a weapon that could get away with not inherently having an overclock. No, I think you're it, right. it's the first compound strong, generally. Yeah, it's first compound and the other one. They're good, but I think there is a place for. Well, isn't that also what they so did? Just utility. Like they generally buff the sludge pump, but didn't they also just move a lot of the overclocks into the gun, or is it the other way around, or like mods? I think that is correct. The first thing. Um, yeah. Or they moved some of the mods into the base gun. Yeah, I think that's more like. I think right. that's more. Yeah. Whatever. Anyway, when it, this is basically the only utility thing on the sludge pump I would use because I don't like the one where it increases velocity. I don't like the stupid unstables that much <laughs> so aside from the really strong balance and that stuff i would use this if i didn't want to just go for strength on my yeah. pump. because it's also i don't know it, it's something like if you were to burst like a horde that's kind of jumped you uh you'll hit them damaging the wall but you'll also likely step on a puddle so that you can get away even easier right yeah and i guess it would help with brawling in that sense yeah where you're moving faster you can sort of go into a horde with your drills out and sort of move around quite easily. Yeah, it, it yeah. could be fun. It's cool it, stuff. It and also, Driller doesn't really have anything that helps with movement, does he? I don't think. I think that's kind no, of doesn't. the point. Like, I think he's meant to. Yeah. But also, there's nothing saying he can't. And I but think this, this would be a fun really, way. It wouldn't really help with movement in like 
I don't I don't know. I don't think this would break anything. I don't think this would be antithetical to Driller. I think it'd help, basically. <laughs> I think it's And it seems like we're both on board with with your version of it. <laughs> well, just yeah, just a, a slight yeah, to make it actually fun and balanced. But because uh, otherwise yeah, it won't do much. But uh yeah, I think we're 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 good. Uh moving on. To my this one, fucking thing. Uh, efficient charges, which uh, once again, just just like it's like, pardon me. It's like you know how the missions have like default preset like words. That's just what I use. <laughs> it's just like it's like better, <laughs> or if it's like it's like charges. If there's like bullets, it's like clips, mags, all that. It's just, and it's efficient charges, uh, which uh, reduces the charge cost by one, and reduces the charge time by 30 percent so you charge a bit quicker and it and it doesn't take as much out of the gun which i think it like charging isn't inherently better it's just easier to use and more efficient ammo wise um, i i guess well i was about to i was about to take issue with it but i take this issue with it because you can't combine it with other overclocks say because you can reduce the charge cost down to three with this and yeah. that's going to be much more that's going to change things <laughs> and there's basically no reason not to use um uh, there'd really be no reason because the, the reduced charge cost and reduced charge time mods exist in the same tier there'd be no reason not to take the reduced charge cost as well to reduce it down to three and this... suddenly you uh, this this feels like a clean that would have the potential to rise to the top this, wouldn't this really help with like EPC mining? Like it would make that even more cost effective, or would that is that not work? I'm not sure how. You can use whatever well, overclock with EPC mining, right? It doesn't rely on anything. It doesn't rely on an overclock, but it's better to reduce charge to reduce the cost. The problem with this is that the base charge cost is only five, which means every single one is a big difference. The only reason that I don't think it's disgustingly overpowered is because you couldn't take something like Blue Bomber Special or Sludge Blast with it, especially Sludge Blast, which reduces your ammo. Um, so I'd be looking to give this some penalties. Oh shit! No, I just had like a brain lapse, and I thought we were doing the EPC. <laughs> yeah, I th now I couldn't tell if that was the case or not. I thought it was possible. So why is he? Why is he talking about that? Yeah, <laughs> I literally, Jesus, I, I I forgot that I could you could even charge this. Oh shit! What? what uh, yeah. I mean, I guess. It's Wait a minute. The whole time, Wait, this so you had a lapse there, but also when you made it. No, 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 no. The, uh, but like, it's just right now. Suddenly, oh. switching over to my overclock, <laughs> I thought we were doing an EPC. I, I <laughs> there was a, uh, which is. I think it's because that symbol is. He, uh, comes up three times in the EP two. It's got it's quite associated with the EPC. Yeah, because it's, it's got a mod that uses it. And uses it. Yeah, oh, well, you know. Yeah. What an idiot! What a fool! <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, oh god, this has completely changed how I'm looking at this. Uh, I've, I've been. I've just, now. I've just stunned myself. <laughs> but do you see why this would be really strong? Yeah. Least? Because I mean, I, I'm sure that was the point. You want to, you want to give it, you want to buff the weapon. That's the point of an overclock. But um, it's quite a big increase, and I think it could work, but not as a clean. I, I really do think this requires some penalties, especially when you're adding both. And um, it, it's mainly because but you can't really do it differently. But it's because it's the same as the mod. I think the charge speed you've added is less than the mod like reduces it by. Um, hold on, what is it? Yeah, yeah, it takes me 60% on the mod, but it's just the amount for the, the cost one. Both yeah. minus one and minus one. Well, I can't do point why... five. It could be. No, you Maybe. can't take no, point you can't. five. <laughs> no, you can't. Um, anyway, yeah, I do think it could work if we introduce some penalties, though. Um, otherwise, it would rise to the top very quickly. It needs to have competition. And there's nothing wrong with an overclock being very strong, as long as it's balanced, um, which I don't think it is. Um, what, what what makes it unbalanced? 
Just the fact that just charge the, shots are the, the slightly the number more. Of charge shots to be able to get. No, it's not slight. It's not slight because it's it's the cost starts at five and you can bring it down to three. That's going to make a lot of difference in the amount of charge shots you can produce. Especially when you're already reducing the charge them as well. You can output a lot of charge shots very quickly as well and more than usual. Um, trust me, this would be a very powerful overclock, which doesn't mean it shouldn't exist, but it would be really strong. Um, I suppose if you don't pick the other mod, what you would get two charge shots out of, um, but you go five, two charge shots or three, th three charge shots, uh, in, yeah. So I guess. Yeah. I'd be looking like a balanced probably with, um, like the splash damage because it deals charge shots deal AOE damage as well as just like shooting at puddles. I'd reduce the splash damage and probably this charge shot velocity. I think those be suitable penalties. Maybe two is too much. Um, I mean, my honestly, I think I prefer if it was just reduced charge cost because then there's points to both. Where you have the normal slightly slow charge speed that it has by default, but much more like efficient. Or you have like you know like the normal reduction in charge cost, but you can also reduce the charge time of the mod. I'd be looking to, honestly. I'd be looking to take away the charge speed buff. Yeah. And add a penalty as well. <laughs> well, then it's not clearly more hands. You're not allowed to do that. No, it uh -huh. wouldn't be. Here we are. It's exactly what we nope. do here. Bad. Damn. Anyway, that's my proposition. It's to take away that second bonus and add charge short velocity penalty. That's what I would do. Um, and I think, it, I think it would work. Clearly, you don't understand why this is so powerful. Because and I thought I it was on the wrong you. gun. That's, <laughs> That's, well, no. yeah, I, yeah. I do kind of see it because I'm thinking 15, right? You'll be able to get uh, three charge shots. 15 ammo, three charge shots. You bring it down to four. I think it's still four, eight. You'll be able to get three charge shots. No, four charge. No, still three. Uh, but then you get it down to the, the three, and then you could get five charge shots out of 15 an hour. So you get two yeah. more. Which is why I'm most likely to do maybe actually a magazine size penalty would be interesting. Um, I think it's times, yeah, times 0.75, which would mean that with either version, because the default magazine size is 20, so that would bring it down to 15. And if you take the mod, it would be 30 with a a times 0.75 penalty so that would like you'd have a nice number of shots per magazine as well and um, so maybe that would be the better penalty because it's not a, it, i think it becomes less of an insane um upgrade when you do introduce a penalty but that's kind of the point um hmm. so i think even a small penalty would be fine something like magazine capacity that would to round it out to be like a the number that could be divided by three <laughs> yeah i think that's what i'd do I think this is only as, that? This is only as Man good as it is, uh, because the corrosive sludge bomb is good as default. So the fact that you're not buffing charge shots inherently, like damage or puddle wise, isn't that big of a negative on the corrosive sludge bomb. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. Yeah, all I would say is that I would I would want the second thing to probably be removed, but all it really needs to do is just be balancing. Some way, just some penalty, and this is fine. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> right, Here we are. let's move on. It's not. It's not. Um, dote upon such trivial matters as uh, whatever that was. All right. Uh, yeah. What? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Prince of Darkness. Oh, yeah. that? That's a, that's a reference to a film about sludge in a tube and the sludge. He's Satan. Um, is it? So, is it flo Wait, it was flubber. That's it wasn't flubber. It's flubber. It flubber. you I was going to call it. Flubber. I was. I was, was going to call it flubber until I remembered Prince of Darkness was a thing. But From it was originally flubber. called. It was originally called Smart Sludge. Um, <laughs> is that now? What? Do you want me to print show stuff? Yeah, I think so. So this is basically. It's not. It's not homing. The start of that. Um, <laughs> The sludge puddles are though, so that sludge fragments launch towards nearby enemies. That's upon that's when the charge shot explodes. 
they'll go in that di- they'll go in a direction towards the enemy. They're not homing it, but they'll go in a direction towards the enemy. Like they're aiming, basically. And then the puddles slowly travel towards the nearby enemies. Yeah. But to accommodate this. Uh, decreased charge splash damage, which is something I suggested for yours as a penalty. That's half the damage, but not of the, the effects. So, uh, decreased charge fragment count as well. So that's less fragments, which equals less puddles, by the way. Um, so, this was this was made kind of. <laughs> what is that? Huh? I can hear. Yeah. Someone. I can't tell if it's from your house or from. It's Mitchell. It's, yeah. He's a cunt. Uh, just doxed him. Okay. Anyway, so this was sort of made for swarmers first of all, because the sludge pump I think is probably the worst of swarmers out of the three. Um, and I'd want it to be well. That's something we need to talk about: the speed at which the puddles move, which is quite terrifying. Um, that's why the description is literally just what, because I think it's going to be quite scary. I think it will scare people when they just see sludge just moving around. And then also for Mac Terror, but it doesn't actually if. If the Macterras are quite close, a, a, like a charge shot, we usually get them all anyway. But still, that's sort of what the, 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 the directional charge shot's for. But yeah, this is mainly about the moving puddles, sort of taking care of swarmers, and keeping like their targets, basically. Because without slowdown, a lot of things can get through the puddles. So, <sighs> puddles can basically move, and it's fixed. Thing... Is is would this actually be good? Um, I don't see why it would be bad because the damage that you're doing is less. No, that's the charge splash damage, area damage. That's not the corrosive effect. Right. It's just it. I I was thinking about swarmers when they made this and about having such puddles. You put one below you and it would sort of like you know if you're getting surrounded by swarmers you can shoot like puddles right at your feet so, so they actually don't hit enemies and then it'll just it'll just it'll just swim around and suck up all the swarmers um yeah see this is, this is what we do when you're trying to figure out if these ideas are good or not but i i would want to use this personally at least um so it's really down i don't i wouldn't say it's down to you but i do want to know your actual thoughts Ooh. I'm just trying to figure out. <laughs> yeah, I know. yeah it's, it's a bit weird. It's a bit weird. It's a bit odd. So, if you normal shot, it's nothing but positives. No, n- normal shots aren't affected. Yeah. Normal sh- normal yeah. shots, except you want to really be able to turn them into puddles. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the puddles would still work. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's what I like. That's that's really what it was, kind of. Because I I wanted to sort of spec into puddles, but also I guess I didn't. Because <laughs> it's two separate. They're two very different positives actually, aren't they? Um, yeah. And I just question if the first one was really necessary, and maybe doing a bit more with just the puddles themselves would have been better. But at the same time, I think with what it does to the puddles. Increasing their duration or damage would probably be too powerful. Or even their radius. Anything. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. I think... I don't know. The fact that it implies that the sludge is alive, right? That's yeah. the whole... That's the connection of the two. Um, I don't know. I think this charge splash damage isn't really that big of a negative... Because I, no, I not... can't imagine people are going to be using it for that. They're probably going to be just hitting the ceiling with the charge and have it rain uh, down a name onto everything below. Um, yeah. And so, I don't know. And the charge fragment count is pretty sad because, you know, you'll want as many fragments as you can get, but it's actually a, you know, legitimate balance but I, I'm, I'm not sure if it's actually that balance because I'm not sure how good because if they launch towards nearby enemies the fragments touch and land on the enemies that well yeah this is why it's a combination I've realized now what this should actually be because it's like a combination of buffing charge shots and normal shots and I think it should have a penalty for each separately because really the puddle thing 
isn't really going to apply to charge shots. Well, the fragments, the fragments create... are going towards nearby. It's, yeah. it's literally specifically not creating frag um, puddles when yeah. you use charge shots. So you're sort of using each function for different functions. So I don't know what you're going to say next. I know that I would want to change one of the penalties to be for the normal shots because well, there's for both. I would want to change. I would want to get rid of one of the positives. The first one, either. Yeah. I just think either. I think they are they are I, they are clocks, battling yeah. each other, and using one makes the other one like well not worse, but they kind of just you can't do both basically. Well, no, you're right, and I actually didn't realize. <laughs> yeah. Somehow, but you're you're right. Um, I'd probably want. Well, I'd like to see both to be honest, but um, hmm. I think probably the the moving. Puddles just for swarmers and sort of they want. I want them. To, the thing I needed to sort of hash out was how fast would the puddles be able to move, and I'd say probably fast enough to keep up with most enemies on the ground. Obviously not like fast enough to keep, <laughs> keep up with, you know, shellbacks, but you know, swarmer speed. Well, I, I, uh, I I'm not sure what the reference is, but the what the Prince of Darkness is, but you could kind of have it where it would latch on to their shadow. So once it's the puddle is under something, it stays there as long as you know, as long as it lasts, you know, the puddle, and it will it will just reside in the the creature's shadow, and and deal yeah. with corrosion damage. Um, so it moves as fast as what it locks onto moves as, um, and then it runs out. Yeah, that's kind of what it should be actually. That's a really good idea. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you're good at this. You're good at making my ideas. I was about to say better. I should actually say good. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's much better. So, such puddles. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. I don't have to put it in words. Well, they. they I mean, so, I guess such puddles home. You know, they. They. They are always on uh, the enemy that they. Which I guess they'll slowly move towards an enemy to like latch onto. And then once they're there, they'll move as quickly as they need to. Or they but could be stationary. See... But look, this is a problem. I'm still realising maybe this isn't actually that good because it my think about it, it really is just for swarmers because everything else, you're better off just actually hitting. Yeah. The point is, because with swarmers, it can kill multiple because it only needs to, they only need to be in it for like half a second. <laughs> so it can just move between swarmers. But I don't know if it's actually going to be able to kill more than one grunt. I sort of like the idea of maybe a single puddle can kill more than one grunt or a grunt and then still have enough lifetime left to move on and do a little bit down to something else i don't know um i think it'd be pretty cool so maybe, maybe puddle think... lifetime should be increased with this maybe their duration yeah um, I, think, I think it'd be pretty cool to get lost in the idea and have it so the corrosion spreads through the shadows if they touch but that uh, is oh. that is falling into a harry hole right there uh, well i had an idea of it wouldn't even be ground based and like as long as the sludge is alive like as long as for its entire lifetime it can just move between things when it's done with something so just getting like just making sure that uh, making sure like a single fragment does all of its damage possible is sort of an idea i like yeah where yes. if it has if it has like damage left to do once it's done with an enemy it will move to something else no matter even like through the air but i don't know if that's i, li I like the idea but i don't think it can be balanced or not um <laughs> But think... Specifically, a cyber clock. What are we gonna do with it? <laughs> well, I don't know. You want it to kill swarmers, so I don't know. Maybe it could be. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to say maybe it works differently, but like, I don't know what you could do with these things. Like the fragment falling stuff is kind of cool. Um, like I don't know. Um, that could be fun, but I don't think it's inherently good. Same with the. The puddles moving, um, yeah. But maybe I don't know. Uh, it could you could have been like if you wanted to. I mean, I guess your issue with it is that you're struggling to hit swarmers, right? Which I don't quite get. Cause... Not necessarily hit, and they're not the swarmers aren't a problem usually. Pro well, they they can be not a problem if you choose to just dump ammo into them or use charge shots. But sort of like the idea, of like when it comes to like, the proportional amount of ammo used on each weapon, I think the sludge pump comes out 
the bottom. And this, even if you use charge shots, which you can get a lot of efficiency out of. So I thought like, the other single part would be able to take care of swarmers. But it's too singular almost. I don't think mm-hmm. it's flexible enough, that idea. Which is why my idea of like, a single piece of sludge just being able to travel between enemies to maximise, to just do all of its damage, that sort of feels like a, like a nice, perhaps, middle ground between both of the positives, actually. Yeah. So maybe I would want to go for something like that. And then, as well as like a, 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 like, like a lifetime buff. And I don't know what the penalties would be, though honest for that but i don't care now <laughs> I, don't care. I think direct damage should go down um like it shouldn't be good at killing grunts it should really just tear through swarmers i mean that's that's the objective right so i think the damage it actually does should be pretty pathetic on a on a on like a grunt but pretty enough for a swarmer to then it just clear through them but i don't know sure why not I don't use the Crojan enough to notice this issue with Swarmers. Um, no. As far as I'm no. concerned, it's actually probably one of the better ones. Um, because normally with, like, Sticky Flames, they could just, like, jump over the Sticky Flames and anything like that. But with this, they really can't jump over a puddle. Can they it's actually jump over Sticky Flames? I've seen them do it multiple times. Same with the... Because uh, sometimes I use the Cryo Residue, because that freezes Swarmers. Uh, but they'll start like jump halfway through or over it, and they won't it won't fully freeze them. Losers. Uh, but yeah, they they don't tend to get out of corrosion slab pumps. Um, but yeah, that was this is Prince of Darkness, the uh, the whole movie. I still don't know what it is. Um, but all I'm gonna say is, see you in Hell Icon. It's gonna it's gonna mean something again soon. What? That that's happening. That, what? The video will be released. What? Oh! Sick. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Would it not be before this comes out? It will, actually. Or it could not be. It depends. <laughs> <laughs> the magic what? of YouTube, baby. All right. Moving on. This can be confusing, potentially. Either way, this will be confusing. Another <laughs> reference. Uh, Swamp Thing. I really don't this know... Prince of Darkness, but better. ...anything um. more about Swamp Thing than its name's kind of weird. And I think there was, like, a legitimate horror movie made on it. There was a show that yeah. was, like, well-received, and they cancelled it. Of course, because that's what they do. It had, like, one of the best, like, costumes, like, ever created. <laughs> As in, they took, you look at something in the comics, what they made actually looked like something directly put in live action, and it was really quite impressive. Yeah. They did a great job, and then it got cancelled. Anyway, uh, Swamp Thing, what's going on here, eh? Your spell. Let's find out. Uh, Whoa. Stronger slumming effects on puddles, which you don't really need, but I think I'm doubling down on that so hard that they're basically not to be able to move. Like, they in technically case, they are. They basically not be able to move. They cause... technically can, but they're not. <laughs> I'm going to try and find out what he actually reduces it to when you... Um, well, normally, and when you add the, uh, yeah. the um, upgrade. Uh, larger puddles, so they're just a bit bigger. Not sure how much bigger, really, but they are. Um, but then, a direct shot doesn't slow them down. Still does the corrosion damage and that, but it, it doesn't slow them down, which I'm pretty sure they, it does, yeah. right? So if you shoot them directly, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. A normal, um, yeah, yeah, a normal shot will slow by thirty-five percent, which is increased to fifty-one percent. But the puddle slow is forty-five percent and gets increased to seventy-two point five percent. So that's how much move speed it's taking away from the enemies. It's minus 725 percent move speed. Yeah. So how much do you want to add to that? I'm looking for a potential ninety-five percent. If <laughs> if you just a hundred percent go for it, I want you to basically just pull any enemy now, to a, what a I was damn hole. This, I'm pretty sure that actually maybe not. I was about to say if you can set the puzzle on fire then I think you could probably kill the toy with one puddle but i don't know if that's possible because you're not increasing the puddle lifetime um so i'm not sure if it's actually possible but maybe we should i don't know so what does burning the puddle not 
like make it like last shorter, or does it still last just as long? No, I think it's exactly the same. I think it's oh. the same. Uh, yeah, uh, and then reduced puddle count. I apparently didn't bother with a number. Uh, probably just like a couple. Or well, fragment count. Yeah, that's because you can still create puddles with a normal shot. It still should. Uh, it, is, it is a weird thing actually. So a normal charged shot releases eight fragments, which can potentially become puddles. I mean, like, like the thing I always default to is minus two. Um, yeah. So that's like one more than like the charge cost potentially. That's basically how it, I see it. It's reasonable. Um, use five ammo for potentially six puddles. Um, yeah, I think it's actually really good. And this is like this does, however, sort of like fully embody what you were afraid the sludge pump was going to be, which is just sticky flames to gun. And it kind of, it is in some ways. It already is. <laughs> yeah, but it's not just that. Um, but this is just that, which is fine. And I like it. I like that it really specs into puddles. The dispersal compound does, but it's more so speaking to fragments of themselves than puddles specifically, which is what I like about this. And the fact that you can kill most enemies with like single puddles i think with this which is just uh, yeah wild because it, it, it's not inherently increasing any form of damage it's just that like it is only purpose is to just stop anything that like tries to come towards you you just put a single shot down and it they should just stand to a halt uh and you may not kill them inherently and you really shouldn't i mean i don't know it's just i don't know i like the slowing effect, which is why I prefer, like, because I dislike what Sticky Flames is, but Corrosion doubles down on it, and I like the, you know, the slowing effect that it has, and how that's a legitimate part of the gun, uh, and so I double down on it, or I guess 30%, or 32.5% down, knowing that would be over. Point is, more. Um, you could get Swarmers too. <laughs> Everything is. I was going to say, I think this is objectively better than my one. <laughs> at least we got a more concrete idea of what it would be, at the very least. Yeah. I mean, that applies to all the time. It won't apply to the next one, because I don't really want to touch the next one. Okay. I think that's about... And I'll explain why. Obviously, you can I'm just bring gonna... up what's there, but not the information. Actually, it might be good idea to bring up the information. I'm just going to put down one thing before that, and I just noticed it. The sticky effect on the shoe... Kind of looks like a pizza. Pizza. Yeah. That's lit. That is pretty sick. Uh, maybe we'll use that. I'll use that for an overclock called like pizza, pizza time. time. <laughs> <laughs> I might do that. That. Could, oh, I've already got a scout left. I haven't made any of scouts ones yet. Rock and stone, Spider-Man. <laughs> so, <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> yeah. It might be so like that. I don't know. Uh, what would you put pizza time on? Well, I don't know. I might do it for like, I don't know, a movement-based, web-based attack. So it's not inherently pizza time, but more that it's a direct Spider-Man reference. Spider-Man. Yeah. Spider-Time Spider Spider reference. Spider-Time. Uh, Pizza-Man. Uh, Pizza-Man, yeah. Uh, Pizza-Time. Pizza-Woman, pizza Storm. Harry's unstable. Uh, Sludge Storm. Uh, right, so, what I'm gonna have to, oh god, so it started off, I had a completely different overclock, fully formed for this. <laughs> um, it was called the Juggernaut, oh, um, right. but I realised that it was kind of like, it was like Goob on the special, but really weird. It was like a, the sludge, like the charge shot would release a big ball that would like roll, and like gain damage if the enemy it passes through, <laughs> and it would like leave behind like, a very short-lasting trail. So it still looked like Goob Bomber Special, except it's on the ground, and it would just it would only be stopped once it reaches like a vertical wall. Like it would even go up slopes, and <laughs> it would just roll around. Um, I totally realised it was horrible. At the same time, this is also horrible. Um, in case yeah. I actually remove charge shots, um, and I thought. I, I kind I. It started from an idea that I liked. <laughs> it became something I don't like. Uh, so it started from the idea of oh, I like the idea of shooting out lots of li lots of small fragments. So I realized that's probably not something they would even be inclined to do. Actually, reducing the size 
size of like the projectiles that come out of the weapon. And it, you just hold the trigger down, it just fires fragments that have like really short um, damage over time, like duration. And so, you just fire it all around. And they would like trap, they wouldn't even be affected by gravity either. They would just go straight lines. <laughs> it would just be like a, but it would sort of be widespread as well. And you, like, so you'd be firing out a storm of sludge. <laughs> and it would just, and you could create like tiny puddles. And you could... <laughs> I don't think you can, eh? The puddle time lifeline is minus 10 seconds. How... Yeah, it's it... two seconds now. Oh my god. 12 seconds is quite... That's pretty decent. Um, so how do you do this, though? Because charging is a thing, right? It, no, you just hold the trigger. Yeah, but it, it doesn't fires. say that it, you, it's oh, gotten actually, rid of it. Sorry, I remembered. I remembered. Um, and so... I think I, I sort of got rid of this actual better initial idea that I had for this. And I replaced it with just massively increasing the ammo capacity. Where I thought, well, what if actually charge shots just release like a like a burst of like small shots or something? Yeah. But that's also kind of sludge blast. There's that, no real version not, of this. That's that not act- kind of sludge blast. That is. There's no sludge version blast. of this that works. It's. T- I I panicked because I, I I changed it from something that we, maybe we could have talked about, but <laughs> now it's just this shit. Um, I I I don't. Look, it's back, but I don't hate the idea of a sludge bomb being a machine gun. <laughs> I don't, I, I want to use it, it's just not a good idea. <laughs> I think, and I think we'll get into this a bit more after mine, because I don't exactly like mine either, but I think the sludge, p- the sludge pump has a unstable issue, where... Yeah, it does. It, it, it doesn't need, slash, it struggles to have, like big changing effects on the gun that actually yeah. pay off. Uh, yeah, you're right. That is, that is actually a genuine... Well, I wouldn't call it a genuine issue. But um, it's, it's an issue that it has, and it's an issue that we've it's stumbled It's an issue that the across. unstable overclocks have. Yeah. Because, like, sure, they do stuff, but, I mean, I know at least drilling in the name of... I saw him do a thing, and, and he cannot... He just very much dislikes uh, Sludge Blast. Like, I don't yeah, like Sludge, like, I mean, Sludge he, Blast is bad. He thought Sludge he Blast like it, and the like uh, long range like thing uh, was bad. And then he tried them both uh, and I think some sort of cheese that made him almost throw up. Uh, but it, the long range one he actually grew to kind of like. Like it's it's like alright, it's convenient, it's fun. But then the Sludge Blast is just terrible. It's See, horrible. I'm going to... Can I just point out something? That doesn't make sense. We're saying the long range one. I know what you're talking about. You're talking about Google Special. But no. Google Special is actually... What? The other one. Oh, oh, sorry. Anti gravity mixture. Yeah, that's not an unstable though. No, but I, it's it's kind of like because he tried the two things he thought were just bad, but then he tried yeah, and the shotgun fucker is just bad. But I think yeah, Goobob Special is apparently not bad, right? Like it's actually. I know. Of... You know what? I'm gonna use it right now. <laughs> I I've literally I I've tried I think the shotgun one once and never again, and I've not used Goobob. Um, because I think it's just the thing that Corrosion Sludge Pump doesn't really need it. It is very good just at what it does. And what it does is good enough all the time, really. You just need to charge it if you feel like it, or don't if you don't. Like, it, you'll still be good either way. Um, and with the other overclocks being simple yet effective, kind of makes these fancier ones obsolete. Which uh, I think is an issue of yours, and also the fact that it gives it 240 ammo, Harry. What's wrong with that? What are you talking about? What's the problem with that? It's not stupid at all. <laughs> and minus 10 puddle, minus a direct damage. Jeez. There isn't, there isn't a thing that does this, right? No, there was. It was called... Um... It's called the unstable overclock. I came up with the bridge cutter. I did something similar. Yeah, Do you remember uh, that? Yeah, <laughs> that was. Yeah, uh, I, I think I did it once. I did it for the bird. Um, did no, no. Yeah, what did you do for the bird? The bird already has it. The bird has it. The bird's the one that has this. It's called right. micro flesh ships. It's called. Um, right. Yeah. I yeah, suppose. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Now, as dumb as it is, what does that, what does that actually mean by that? Why <laughs> uh, not? Well, 
it's like it's horrible. I don't think it's bad. But... I think that the amount of tinkering and adjusting that it would take to make it not just good but like balanced is not worth it considering how dumb of an idea it is. Uh, oh no, dude, it's definitely a dumb idea. Like, <laughs> this is a situation where obviously I like this and I would have changed this if I had the time but I thought both, I, I, I came up with more than one idea for this and I thought both were stupid. What does that's that say? What I, that's what I did with my mini gun uh, unstables. I came, I had to come up with a third that Gattle gave you and I still didn't yeah, but like it. You, you, your ideas weren't that ridiculous though. I had I somehow managed to have two ideas that even I thought were too much. <laughs> I just Impossible. couldn't do it, and I th it does highlight a certain issue with the sludge pump. Not a, not a flaw in its design. It's actually the, um, a compliment, really. Yeah. That it's it's so hard to change it and have it feel good. Um, but I don't think yours changes it that much. Um, it's Vegas not in the same vein. Real. Yeah, because yours, your one, well, you'll ball. explain what it is. It's not like the same to me as any of the unstables. It's more close thing to is, the original. Uh, this, unlike most of my things, most of my things I just do, and then that's it. <laughs> like, I just like kind of come up with, and then that's that's what I, I put. But the, my bouncy ball did go through a couple of iterations. I'll just say, explain what it is now. Charge projectiles bounce to, uh, to enemies. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, I guess it homes, but it just kind of goes in the direction of enemies uh, three times before Pardon detonating me. into puddles. Uh, the puddles last less time and there's less of them. Um, puddles are basically not the important part of the, the charge projectile. It's mainly to actually do damage with the charge protect projectile directly. That's kind of the point of it. Uh, and so it basically does that three times to, like, different enemies. Uh but it, it was originally puddle based and it was going to leave the puddles like a group of puddles in each place that it landed and then kind of just have like groups yeah, yeah. of puddles in place to place but it kind of just i was like ah, i don't know how i feel about that because it also it was going to be like it, it bounces around and each time it leaves like one or two puddles and then it lasts until it runs out of puddles that kind of stuff uh, but eventually i realized that there isn't really anything that buffs or at least leads into the charged projectile alone, like directly. Yeah. Well, the projectile. Um, I I would say volatile impact mixture does, where it just increases the like, the actual splash damage. Yeah. But this is this is cooler. So, um, I'm sort of struggling to envisage how it would work, though. As in, I'm struggling to envisage how it wouldn't be really overpowered i don't think it won't be overpowered well but i my think question is is it like is it as if it's it's the does, it, does every time it makes impact or something does it have like a radius in which it inflicts corrosion like normal well, or think... does it only hit one enemy per bounce and then it explodes oh uh first of all if anyone's struggling to ex uh, picture what it would do when it bounces you know in the sandblasted corridors there's those orb balls where you would shoot it and it launches up in the air and then <laughs> it bounces bouncing. it bounces i swear to god it it does that into other things right it actually legitimately no no no, no it, it does it don't it just does it always <laughs> goes the exact way to either other bouncy things in the area enemies or you it's garen fucking teed i know that it does i agree with it with the other ones of itself like it i feel like it tries to domino um yeah so that basically that mechanic where it kind of launches up in the air comes back down and aims itself lands and stuff does that three times or i guess right I think, I'm not sure exactly how it would start, like you'd aim it, you'd charge it at either, uh, like hit a Glyphid and then it would launch up, does it three times, or you'd like hit the floor and then it goes up and does it three times, I think it just, I just don't care, um, it just does it wherever you, it will have three project jumps on enemies, or no enemies, if there's no enemies nearby then it's just gonna just hit random shit, um, but, uh, yeah, it will bounce three times and then it will dissipate into a couple puddles. Um, so you have some puddles still, but you kind of lose the charge puddle element of the gun. I think what should actually be done with it is 
it doesn't launch the fragments out. It doesn't. It doesn't detonate. It just becomes a big puddle when it's done, because I imagine it being able to affect multiple enemies with every bounce, as if their enemies near. It's like it. It's like it inflicts corrosion in its normal radius, as it does on every bounce. Yeah. And that's how it inflicts corrosion to multiple enemies. And then when it's done, it's the big puddle. It's like multiple puddles in like the same place when it's done. Yeah, just a little I, I, splotch I, of where it impacts. Yeah, I think that suits its sort of bouncy nature that it wouldn't actually explode at the end. It would just become just a big pile of sludge <laughs> instead of exploding. Um, but I'm, I am still struggling to un- like, imagine it. <laughs> Um, because I don't quite understand how the charge shots work. Because they inflict corrosion by having the fragments that come out of the explosion hit enemies. And they inflict corrosion. In this case, it's not releasing fragments all the time. As in, it's not releasing fragments with every impact. Because it makes three impacts before exploding. Um, so... Every time it hit something, I think it would have to. Like, in, uh, <laughs> I'm struggling here. I'm struggling. <laughs> I, I don't know. So the problem is, I'm str- like I said, I'm trying. I'm struggling to imagine how it would work. But I actually like it, <laughs> <laughs> which is a really weird position to be in. Um, probably not going to be our final pitch. <laughs> <laughs> As in, I don't understand it enough to try and make any big changes to it, but I also like it enough I don't want to. I um, think it just, I don't know, it, it it makes the charge projectiles inherently themselves, not anything that comes off of them, just better in that you do it more per shot. Um, but then you lose the puddles as like a balance. Um, I'm not sure. No. Bouncy ball. Bouncy balls! Bouncy balls. Ball. Singular. Bouncy balls. Bouncy. Yeah, well, I think uh, that's the corrosion sludge pump. Um, these are, those were the overclocks that we came up with. Um, well, they certainly were. They certainly were. Um, yeah, the corrosion's a weird gun to make overclocks for. Because, honestly, they did a pretty good job, generally. Um of course, unstables are a bit iffy, but the cleans and balances cover it most of the time. Yeah, which is why I think I- I'm pretty confident in what our final um, pick for is going to be. Well, not final pick. That's not right. Final pick because we take one. We'll, we'll take one and make it perfect. It's going to be, I think, either your balanced or my clean. Or the top um, thing or the movement speed buff. Or trench foot. Yeah, one of those two. Both in one. I honestly, I think you're 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 changing for one because as much oh, as so... I like swap thing, it's not realistic. They're not gonna make the slowing effect ninety five percent. It's just no, I well, not that. But the, but no, you didn't put, actually put numbers on it, and that's something we'd look into. Yeah, but later it, on. It, they don't need to be any slower than they already okay. are. In all fairness. Um, anyway, uh. Well, I was about to say you look forward to next week, which would be obviously correct. The, uh... It's always correct, but it just means obviously we're not... Anyway, um, next week is everyone's favourite weapon, the Sabata. Um... Yeah. Uh, once again, don't remember what I did for it, but uh, so I'm looking forward to it. I, I know on. what you did. Uh, um... <laughs> ass. Oh, that's not very Ass, nice. straight ass. Oh. Fat load of ass. And I'm sure yours are ridiculous. Uh, and that, that no. was us. Uh, what, you managed to make even the... Well, I guess the Sabata's natural the boring level must, natural have, state. must have brought you down. A little bit. Yeah. Only a little bit. Only a tad. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Uh, this was the Overclock Workshop. Uh, I'd say see you next week, which is accurate for you, but once again, this was pre-recorded. Not that it really makes a difference. Uh, well, Except for the fact we never pre it up. We always record these after they're uploaded. Well, no, we we normally <laughs> wait. What uh, we we do, you know, record the video on the day, so it kind of feels a bit fresher when we post it. But yeah, because we we, we live in the moment. <laughs> yeah, but we can't do that if Harry is in like a different miles away. 
Well, you probably could, right? If you just brought your laptop on your mic. But I guess you're probably a bit busy. And actually, you're going to be in a tent for a week, so you probably can't. Um, well, that's what scares me. At least in the caravan, like, you can... I don't understand the, the, the internet situation is going to be, and that scares me. Yeah, so... And let's not pretend like internet isn't important. Right? It is. It's basically a human right at this point. Um, um, in the first world. <laughs> no, in all worlds. What? If Africans... If starving Africans had internet, they would know be all right. to leave Africa. <laughs> or, or they'd... oh god, do you actually think they don't know? Do you think they think most of the world is well, That's a horrible? Thought. Most of, most of the time, you know, I imagine they often see people like delivering food to them, so they must know that other places are better off in that they're delivering. But I don't no, know. I think it's magic. I seriously don't get that though. Like, surely it would be so much easier, instead of constantly having planes drop food off there, we just use those planes to pick them up and take them places where there is food. <laughs> like, if, if Africa guess. is uninhabitable currently, let's take them out and make it habitable and then put them back. Where are we going to put them in the meantime? I don't know. Everywhere's overpopulated. Does it matter? No. Exactly. Just t- yes. dump them in the UK. We, you know, people dump complain enough UK. as immigrants as it is. Oh Jesus! <laughs> I don't care. I don't do anything. But my family does because you know You're an immigrant. British. Point is, uh, I've just solved the uh, global famine crisis uh, <laughs> at the end of uh, this overcooked workshop. Thank you all for watching. Congratulations. Have a First of all. have a gay old time. Rocket stuck. Get lost. Can't say that. Die now. Oh.